As the sun climbs into the sky above Lake Bukaki, I'm doing up my boots, ready for another mountain hunting expedition. That's hot. get to this little glassing point before it pushes into this big, big gully. It's looking promising, I'm starting to see a bit more sign. I've just spotted a mob of tower. I thought they were chamois at first, so I'm kind of disappointed. But I shot, I shot a chamois the other week, so... Can't be too disappointed. Part of me is tempted to take one of these nannies. It's kind of like an easy way out. I could comfortably film it and take home some meat at the same time. But it doesn't really feel right. I've come here to push myself a bit. I'm after a ball. My quest for a ball will take me high into this alpine valley. The terrain is steep. Walls of scree on either side climb up onto ragged peaks. I'll set up my base camp at this time. In the morning, a thick clag is rolled across the tops. I know it's going to clear later in the day. So I'm headed up knowing I'll get the chance to glass when I reach the top. This lake was basically created when, during some big earthquake I imagine, half the mountainside on my left blocked the whole valley. Just half the mountainside just fell, slid down, blocked the river here, and it made a lake. So I have no idea how deep this lake is, but I imagine freaking deep.
Okay, <laughs> I've spotted a bull. I've spotted two actually. One was one of the ones I saw yesterday. It was just totally inaccessible. And there's one here, which I also think I saw yesterday, um, when it was too dark to get it on camera, up in these bluffs across from me. But I feel like he's just kind of standing there. It looks like he knows something's up. I could just about walk up to him if he just stayed there. Maybe shoot him. But then I might run into some, you know, retrieving problems. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for a bit. And, um, he's really my last chance. There's some weather moving in tomorrow. It's like, Three o'clock. I need to get down off this mountain. Um, yeah, I, I'll push it to like five, maybe, and then I just have to get going. And that'll be the absolute latest. But hopefully, he comes down. We'll just have to see. There's a couple more animals, just below the last one, and one of them is coming down. It's not over till I say it's over. <laughs> the bulls are on the move, so so am I. I've got a couple hundred meters to go. I can't see them, but they're just behind this little spare right here, I think. Somewhere. to this little sort of knobby bit and just wait for them to feed down towards this tarn. The wind's good. Everything should be fine. If they spooked, uh, I'd be able to see where they went. There's not really many places for them to hide here. Which is good for me. I've been spotted, but not by the tar I was stalking. Either way, they've signed up the alarm and all the tar are scattering. One ball scatters the wrong way. That was pretty crazy. So I got spotted, and I thought they must have winded me, but it turned out to be another mob had come down on top of me. And uh, this mob was still, they're still right there just looking at me. And um, they were a bit slow, it was a 300 meter shot, but I got one of the bulls. I think he's just piled up in those rocks somewhere. It appears gruesome, but a blood trail like this means only one thing, a quick kill.
Every hunter has something that defines them as such. Waterfowl hunting, bush stalking, or lion hunting with hounds. For me it's this, mountain hunting. Going to places that are far and doing things that are hard for the sake of doing them. I can't think of a better symbol for the mountains than a Himalayan tar. This is a cool tar. One, two, four. This might be like an eight-year-old, eight-year-old bull. It's not bad. Maybe seven. Man, this is one of the hardest hunts I've had in quite a while. Um, it started out simple, you know, glassing all that front country. And eventually, I just had to come up here to be successful. And it was a monster climb today. And I, didn't, I didn't see any animals for the first half. And suddenly, in drips and drabs, these tars started coming out. Um, It was a hard hunt, but it's probably going to be a harder pack out. I'll say that much. <laughs> this is mountain hunting, man. This is mountain hunting. God, I love tar. Tar, I think, will always be my favorite New Zealand game animal, for sure. I just never get enough of them. Especially when there's big donkeys like this around. Alright. Time to get to work.